Hi. Welcome back to our channel, I am Sally. Today, I will review again about the cars for you. So, please watch in this video carefully. The Lexus LC500 Review 2018 Release The proportions of the LC give off a distinctively functional vibe, and it's genuine. That hood is so long because the 5.0 liter V8's center of mass sits 3.5 inches behind the front axle. The extra space up front is mostly empty. Lexus employs high strength sword cross braces to shore up torsional rigidity instead of adding arrangement the head of the front rotates, and the artillery sits under the trunk flooring. For all the visual exhilaration, the LC is still a conventional vehicle. Aside from some promotions in the LC 500 hours S hybrid power team, new innovations here is of the iterative form. It's interesting, in that Lexus is betting on emotional appeal and driving attribute at a time when the future relevance of both is up for debate. If anything, the LC is a car for the current automotive world, not the one to come. And despite extensive employment of aluminum and sheet molded carbon, the LC 500 weighs in at a hefty 4,280 pounds. That's right in line with the BMW 6 Series and a good deal below the Bentley S Mercedes Benz S Class Coupe's 4,700 pounds. But the Benz is all wheel drive, and the Porsche Carrera by comparison weighs 1,000 pounds less. But did we mention the LC 500 is beautiful? Yes. This car looks so good it can get away with some extra load. It can get away with a lot of things, actually. Here I am on emotional appeal to the LC, and that's what Lexus, and Toyota, has been missing. So we give the LC 500 a pass on the wide opening sill and low toned room position that attain ingress and egress somewhat challenging. Ditto for the switch bar, which simulates the characteristics of the Prius and takes some discover. At least you'll be comfortable while you fuss with putting the car into drive. Lexus went through more than 50 bench designs to arrive at the two available bucket forms. Adjustment restricted to 6 guidances plus 4-way lumbar assist. That's all you need here, simply a few simple-minded crusades for maximum consolation. We wish the extra bolster of the optional athletic seats, but both are as close to perfect as you can find today. Lexus went so far as to differ the concentration of the foam at different points in the side bolster, with resin sets that lend stiffness right where you need extra bracing. It's those kinds of details that attain the interior equally as lovely as the outside. Take the door pullings as another example. In most autos, there is some kind of housing all over the handle, hiding the channel the existing mechanisms slots and through the trim panel. In the LC that handle sits naked, like a lone tree in a field of Alcantara. All of the trimming is sewn by hand, all of the leather is soft, and nothing of the joints or mating surfaces within the LC reveal the method of assembly. It's the kind of fine tuning that sets apart demonstrated indulgence labels and calls out the aspiring ones. With the LC interior, Lexus is indicating craftsmanship that belongs in the upper rank. Lexus craves the LC to be a driver's car, and so the cockpit is focused on the instrument cluster. Which is just as well, because that allows you to ignore the fussy touchpad interface for the infotainment structure. Gravely, we just use it on our test drive, the essential parts, radio and climate control, are operated by hard buttons. Adaptive cruise dominate and crash mitigation are standard, so there's a safety net should you attempt to operate the force feedback touchpad as we seek to do anything else, such as driving. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe my channel. I'm Sally, see you next time.